When and where did green eyes first develop and for what reason? Now, green eyes are the rarest eye colour in the world, at only 2% of the world's population. As far as the general breakdown of eye colour worldwide, brown eyes are the most common eye colour at 70-80%, to blue eyes are next at 8-10%, to then there's hazel eyes and amber eyes at 5%, grey eyes are next at 3%, and then green eyes are the most rare at 2%. Out of interest, what is your eye colour? Please let me know in the comments below. People of European ancestry represent the highest degree of people who have green eyes, and they're most common across Europe, Northern, Western and in Central Europe. More specifically, Ireland, Scotland and other Northern European countries have the highest share of people with green eyes. Iceland is one notable mention, with around 8-10% of men and around 18-21% of women having them. And in the Netherlands, 6% of men and 17% of women have green eyes. In Europe more broadly, they are found in around 8% of the population. Among European Americans, green eyes are most common among those of Celtic and Germanic ancestry, at around 16%. Although they are most common amongst Europeans and people of European descent, green eyes can be found across the globe, including in remote parts of China. Li Qian, a remote village in western China, is known for its high percentage of people with green eyes and blonde hair. Some suggest they're descended from Roman soldiers who got stranded in China, but this isn't proven. DNA results from 2010 that analysed these villagers did indicate that they are around two-thirds of Caucasian origin potentially lending support to this Roman theory, but it's still debated. Now let's look at what causes green eyes. Initially, scientists had quite a simple model, basically that your eye colour was determined by two genes, one from your mother and one from your father. Now we know it's not quite so straightforward as that, and there are at least 16 different genetic influences on eye colour, and more specifically, on the amount of melanin produced by the iris, with the OCA2 and the HER-C2 genes heavily involved in eye colour. Melanin absorbs light, so irises with high amounts of melanin appear darker. These genes however interact in complex ways, and we are still trying to fully work out how this all works. Similar to people who have blue eyes, there is no actual green pigmentation in people with green eyes. In general, green eyes are caused by two main factors. Firstly, an amber or light brown pigmentation in the stroma of the iris, which has a low or moderate concentration of melanin. And secondly, a blue shade created by the Rayleigh scattering of reflected light, similar to why the sky appears blue, with green eyes also containing the yellowish pigment, lipochrome. This all mixes to form green, similar to how you mix blue and yellow paint together to form green. Different lighting can also cause green eyes to look slightly different as well. In certain lighting conditions, they may appear more blue, or in direct sunlight, more hazel. So eye colour in general is caused by the amount of melanin in the iris, and depending if you have lighter eyes, you have less melanin, and then light is reflected in a particular way that appears that you have a certain colour of eye, even though if you dissect the iris and the eyeball in general, there's not actually the colour pigmentation of your eye, which is quite cool to think. But how does green stack up against the other eye colours as far as the amount of melanin in the iris? Well, brown eyes obviously have a lot of melanin. Hazel eyes have less melanin than brown eyes, so they appear a bit lighter. Green eyes are next and have less melanin than hazel eyes, but more than blue and grey. And blue and grey eyes have the least amount of melanin and reflect the most amount of light. Now let's look at the origin of green eyes. A 2009 study looked at 26 ancient human specimens dated from between the middle of the 2nd millennium BC to the 4th century AD. They found that... Our results also confirmed that at the Bronze and Iron Ages, South Siberia was a region of overwhelmingly predominant European settlement, suggesting an eastward migration of the Kurgan people across the Ruzo Kazakh steppe. Finally, our data indicate that at the Bronze and Iron Age time frame, South Siberians were blue or green eyed, fair skinned and light haired people, and that they may have helped play a role in the early development of the Tarim Basin civilization. So we know that green eyes were present in South Siberia sometime during the Bronze Age, say around 3,500 to 4,000 years ago. Other origin stories point more to the Caucasus Mountains as the source. However, the research into the origins of green eyes seems to be in its infancy, and there isn't really vast amounts of information on it, and they may be much older than this and we just haven't found the samples yet. Another interesting study from 2013 looked at how different genetic haplotypes and different locations can affect eye colour. 
This study looked at different rural populations on the Silk Road, an ancient network of Eurasian trade routes that connected east and west, which China is actually trying to rebuild today. So what did the authors find? One of the most interesting outcomes of the present data is the demonstration of how genetic information can be used to predict eye colours. For example, homozygous individuals, with homozygous meaning that you have inherited the same versions or alleles of a genomic marker from each biological parent, from a specific hair C2 haplotype, H2, led to a higher probability of carrying brown eyes in all populations, whereas carriers of the other haplotype, H1, have a significant probability to show a blue or green-grey iris colour. Furthermore, homozygous individuals from the same haplotype have a different probability to develop green or grey iris colour depending on the region in which they live, i.e. a person belonging to the Caucasus region has a higher probability as compared with individuals living in Central Asia. An explanation for these findings is the possible presence of population-specific polymorphisms that might interact with the HRC2 and OCA2 genes and thus contribute to the phenotypes. These polymorphisms could have a higher frequency in the Caucasus region because of a different history of gene flow between the various populations. Now let's turn our attention to the reason for green eyes developing. And in fact, let's go somewhere a little more scenic for this section. Well, broadly speaking, on top of the clear genetic component that scientists are still really trying to work out, there are probably numerous different external selective pressures on eye colour in general, including such things as sexual, cultural and environmental factors, such as the level of sunlight. One theory as to why green eyes were selected for over time is that they are considered beautiful and somewhat mystical, and this seems always to have been the case. In fact, in Irish folklore, green eyes are considered to be the mark of the fae or fairies from the Celtic Otherworld. A survey of 1,000 people that looked at what eye colour people thought was most attractive found that although grey eyes topped the chart with an average rating of 7.4, it was closely followed by blue and green eyes, each scoring an average of 7.3. When looking at responses by gender, however, men rank green as the most attractive eye colour and blue actually as the least, which is quite interesting. Women, however, rank green the third most attractive eye colour, with grey first and blue second. Another survey with a larger sample size of 66,000 found green eyes to be the most attractive, gaining 20.3% of the vote. Light blue was second, followed by hazel. I would say that this attractiveness element is probably a significant reason for green eyes being selected for over time. Another theory is again to do with light. Now in my video on the origin and reason for blue eyes, I argued that the lack of light is probably one main factor in blue eyes being selected for over time in general, as lighter eyes are more sensitive to light, but green eyes sit somewhere in the middle between brown and blue eyes. It is interesting to note that once again green eyes are found mostly in Europe, and Northern Europe at that, which obviously has low light conditions in the winter. And if you're wondering why Inuits and other Arctic populations don't have lighter eyes, please click here. Overall though, I would definitely say that the attractiveness argument is probably the main external pressure as to why green eyes were selected for over time. Obviously there was the clear ge genetic component, the internal pressure of that, but as far as external factors, I would say probably the fact that green eyes are so mysterious and so rare was probably one reason why they were selected for over time. But what's your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments below. But what about blue eyes? What is the reason for blue eyes? And what are the origins of blue eyes? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.